All right, it is time now for Great Day Fitness. As busy moms, Hello, yes. case in point. Yes, <laughs> yes. It's really, especially oh, when the kids are little. So hard. Finding time to exercise and work on your health when everything else you're doing, it can be difficult. Yeah, and that's something that's especially true for new moms, too, who are just learning the ropes and learning to love their changing bodies. That's a very hard thing to do. I am still trying to learn how to give myself some grace after baby yeah. number two. Yes. <laughs> well, after being a mom in general, I've got teenagers, but, you know, uh, we've I've worked with Joe for Decades. Joe Carabasi is here to talk decades. about decades. Decade. Well, I I just celebrated 24 years yesterday. It has been decades. Wow. <laughs> um, no, but we we have to give grace that your bodies are going to change. But there's still you got to put yourself on the list as far as. Um, after having babies, it's just hard to do. And you work with tons of moms at all phases. So you know yeah. how, even though you're not a mom, you are a dad of young children, yeah, and so you're married to one, but you also know how what works and what doesn't. Yeah, and look, I would have never have any idea what it actually feels like to go through a pregnancy, but I've worked with thousands of women who have, and, and I, I study the psychology and help them through the whole thing. And, and uh, you know, I, we under, I think it's under, under and understood. We don't, we, we underestimate, really, what a pregnancy is. It is the hardest, I would say, surgery, not just because it's a lot physically, mm -hmm. but emotionally, right? Mm -hmm. There's so many things that happen that, that are out of your control after. Yeah. There's a lot of ranging emotions that you have to deal with on top of not feeling healthy. You just had a, you grew a baby in your body for yeah. nine months. You grew then another human. Have you grew another human, right? Insane. And then all of a sudden it's out, and then now you're dealing with this human and, and, and learning to be a mom and, and doing all things. So I think the most important thing is is just, first of all, like you said, giving yourself grace. I think that's really important. So hard. So you got to overcome the perfectionism. Yeah, yeah. So the perfectionism is really tough, and it's a lot of it can lead to self-sabotage, right? Mm -hmm. Like you can kind of get yourself down a path of thinking you should be doing this, you should be here, yeah. you should be there. Or comparing yourself comparing to other yourselves. moms or where you were with, say, baby number one before. That was my biggest thing. It's tough. Um, you know, your body undergoes this trauma. I had two C-sections. It's a lot. And I think that sometimes you're still physically, let alone mentally, right? That's a whole other thing. Trying to figure out, like, wh where do I fall now? Now. Like, how does this, I, you're never going to get the body back that you had. It's different now, you know, it's lived a little, it's, it's oh, yeah. birthed babies, it's given life. But, um, you know, mentally, when you work with moms, Joe, where are they at? Like, where do you start with them? Where do you meet them? Well, it's, it's kind of there, right? Like, there's a lot of mix of emotions going on. And so one thing I try to tell them, I think the most important thing is self-care right off the get. Because if you're, you know, we talked about sleep before we got on live, oh, right? Yeah. You're, you're not getting a whole lot of sleep. You have this new life you're taking care of. Your body's recovering. Your mind's recovering. All of this stuff. If you don't allocate time for self-care, your mind's going to run rampant in all the directions of your insecurities. And yeah. so dedicating 30 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, whatever you can daily is number one. And in that time, outletting your emotions. A part of me feels this. I don't care if it's part of me feels fat. Whatever mm -hmm. it is, get it out of your head. Yeah. Right? You're not fat, obviously. But if you feel like that, get it out of your head. Because if you don't, you're going to ruminate. Mm -hmm. And that's going to cause more of the similar feelings. I, I think that for me, um, in all different phases, I think journaling really helps. It leaves something very bad in five minutes of whatever. But if you're um, if you're listening, you're going, gosh, like I just don't have the time I used to to work out. And a lot sure. of moms are like, I want to get my body <laughs> back or back to what it could be. Um, what's a good goal? Because like, you often say, we don't need to do hours of cardio a day. Like, that's just wrong. You could even start with a 20-minute walk every day can make a huge difference. And could be like a way to give yourself some me time. Oh, 100%. But back to self-sabotage, because those two tie together, is the all or nothing, the perfectionism. Yes. I don't have an hour, I don't, so I can't do anything right. at all, right? And then you just don't do or, it. Or right. a lot of moms will say, and I'm going to call you out on this, because I'm a dad as well, and I'm always working out with my kids, is that I can't. The kid's crying. The kid's doing this. Okay, so be it. That's self-sabotage. Blaming the kid for you not exercising and the kid is crying, that is self-sabotage. We gotta be honest here, right? And so with that, if your kid is crying, you gotta dedicate some time and teach them that this is time for me to exercise. Now, obviously, after an extended period of times, you hold them and stuff like that, but you have to give yourself that boundary of like, hey, I'm gonna take 10 minutes, and if that 10 minutes my kid cries, it's gonna be okay. Because mm -hmm. you know what's gonna happen? Is not only are you taking care of yourself, you are showing that kid at a very early age 
the importance mm. of taking care of yourself. And that is monstrous. Now right. our kids are super into exercising because they see my wife and I every day. And look, it's not easy. You, Sometimes you, they're grabbing at your legs. They're crawling around. They're crying, yeah. but you know, you gotta do it. You know, my husband makes such a good point of making that time for himself to exercise. And my son even now wants to get into the garage and get in on the action, do a little bit of, you know, lifting with some, you know. Yeah. But an another, thing, another thing mentally though is the guilt that a lot of moms will have. Well, that's what I was gonna say. I have the guilt. I don't make that time like my husband does, but I need to stop self-sabotaging. <laughs> right. Well, we get, look, I, I, it's hard, right? Yeah, it's hard, it but you have to frame it differently, right. realizing that it's not about like taking time away. It's actually you becoming a better parent because you will be more irritable and, and mm -hmm. less aware if you are not taking care of yourself. And mm -hmm. you're teaching Emmy how exactly. to take care of herself. Absolutely. That's why he wants to follow his dad. Yeah. If you teach your kids. So it's all, uh, but Joe can help you actually if you want to check him out at Define Mind Body Wellness. Uh, you can buy one, get one free holistic belly fat spot reduction Ooh. also. All right, have a great day, everyone. See you at four.